just college. break it down for what it is. But what, so how no. it got popular? It was a near in college neighborhoods, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they were uh, convenience stores, but it was on demand. Yeah, and they've scaled it clearly much bigger than just that. But it's mainly what percent of the purpose? I think the it's like the initial growth. It's like Amazon started in books. Yeah. But right. it's like when you sell something so addicting, it's a good place to be. Right. Yeah. But now, yeah. I mean, and and they definitely buying, took advantage. You're, like, you're buying some vape cards. You're just like, oh, I'll take some Cheetos. Yeah. But I mean, I, mean, I honestly think to diminish it as just that is, is given what the news story is, it's clearly much bigger than that. You're so right. It was for all the high you, kids you, too. But so they the, just bought BevMo. Yeah, they bought BedMo for three hundred fifty million dollars. Okay, hundred something locations. So it's really what I think it is. It's 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 cigarettes, vape, and alcohol. It's mm-hmm. the liquor store. Yes, I know it's the on demand. But it's, it's but on- it, yeah. What's interesting is is that like in we forget like it everything that really scales are people's vices. Why is the gambling business going to be so big in America? Because we fucking love to gamble. I mean, I see so many people. It's so funny. I see like, like fit people, fit women in in West Hollywood with a cigarette in like Lululemon, and it's just like the funniest. It's just the style of wearing Lululemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not because it's just a symbol of health. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but but it's interesting. Like this Go Puff company has effectively the liquor store is so like uh, easy area to disrupt, right? Like. Think about it. With the exception of like a 7-Eleven that's global, what else is like, there's no like Lee's liquor store in every corner of America. They're owned by individual people. Yeah. So I think this business needs to be commended because they're in such a competitive space at scale. You're competing with uh, Postmates. You're competing with DoorDash. You're competing because you can get all these things. I'll tell you why they're not. Is because if you went to Postmates and you went to DoorDash or Uber. Drizzly. Okay. Okay, for, put Drizzly aside. They don't for they don't. They, I think because of like image reasons, they don't shove the vices down your throat. Right. I didn't even know you could get alcohol in Postmates till like six months ago. I mean, right? now they shove it in your face. Yes, because every cause restaurant's been, trying to yeah, shove but like you know, it was the Craig's part, Margarita. Yeah. How many times we've heard? Yeah, that? yeah I've ordered that plenty of times. It's very, it's great. But but the point is, is that like you don't you know like it was like taboo. For the Ubers and Postmates to shove tobacco and alcohol in yeah. your face and go puff because they went to the college kids. College kids don't give a fuck. They want tobacco and alcohol. 